Hello guys, and welcome to Nameless The One Thing You Must Recall. Now, this time, I'm very confident that this is the last episode for Lance's Root. Whether or not it is or not, I, I'm, I'm certain it is. It has to be. The title will tell you if it's not. Because it, I... Pa future me knows. Past me never knows. <laughs> Past me is always like, oh, I think it's close, I think it's close, oh yeah, and then it's, it's just, it's not, it's not, ever. It's always when I least expect it. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. When it comes to the title screen and when it comes to the feathers, have they changed? It feels like they've changed, like they're glowing more. Or that it's glowing in the corner more. Maybe I'm just imagining things. I'm probably just crazy. Okay, let's go. True friends. I feel complete now that these five dolls are together. Ah, uh, so pretty. Dolls from Crobodol are particular. Are the uh, bit Wow, I'm already messing up. Dolls from Crobodol are peculiar. I feel like actual people who look like them are alive and moving somewhere in this world. I can actually think of what kind of people you guys would be. So much like real people. Hmm, let's see what's on the internet then. They might have new releases. It's a bit lonely to like them by myself, but... If I tell Soe or Shinbi, they might not like me. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, I'm not bothering anyone, and it's only me who likes them. But I hope there comes a day when I can tell them. As always, I started the day with Tay's pretty and delicious breakfast. Lance went to school, as he always did. I almost felt upset for not being able to see his face, but I couldn't help but laugh at his text. He woke up much earlier and sent me a bunch of texts teasing me. Especially since yesterday, he kept on teasing me for being slow, so I replied, Why don't you just do your job as the discipline guide? Someone who touches her smartphone while eating might not grow up very well. I saw an internet article that said that. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't touch it when I'm eating. Wow, Tay, this is all this omelet looks so good. I chewed on the eggs and said, "Were you texting Lance?" Yeah. People, I mean, dolls change. Huh? What do you mean? I'm saying Lance really changed after he came to life, and especially being with you changed him a lot. Oh, yeah. He changed a lot in such a short amount of time. Lance is really. It's good he changed for the better, right? Yeah. Tay must have noticed. I mean, he did change quite a lot, so it was noticeable. I'm glad. Tay smiled softly. I always felt thankful towards that smile for comforting me. I'm glad you look happy, too. Except a little bit of his eyes show slight contempt, I bet. Like, just a smidge, because it kind of looks like it to me. Just, just a smidge. Oh, yeah, thanks. It bothered me for some reason, the way he smiled and said he's glad I look happy. Yeah, okay, I am picking up on this vibe. But I tilted my head once and just said thanks. The phone rang again. Oh, Lance replied. I smiled and checked my phone. I'm bored. If you say that one more time, it will be your 45th. So what happens if I say it a hundred times? Will I choke on it? You have 55 left then. Until you die, I mean. It was ten days after the festival ended, but everyone was still caught up in it. A lot of students were confessing to feelings lifeless due to the aftermath of the festival. Oh, come to think of it, exams are coming soon again. Ah, it shouldn't be you! Don't ever say that! The word is a taboo from now on! That's right. What's facing us after the festival is the nightmare called finals. Exams, festival, and then exams again. It was like riding a roller coaster. I guess the people in power wanted to gift us with a thrilling life. The person who made this schedule must be a sadistic perv. Right, let's really make a proper study group this time. Again? The members were blah last time. It was Yunho, me, and Shinbi. All three of us couldn't solve the first question, so we went home after a cup of tea. Oh, right. The last time Zoe made the study group, I didn't go because of the play rehearsal. We did have a fun time chatting. Then I mercifully gave Lance 
forgave Lance for backing out of the study group for your love business. I'll make sure I'm repaid for that this time. Huh? What do you mean? You don't have to know. I will share Lance's magic notes. Eerie, you talk to Lance today and ask him to join the study group after school. He'll still be standing in front of the gate as the discipline guide. You can't say no. Oh, well, okay, fine. Now that the play is finished, I felt it'd be good for us to study together, so I nodded. So I picked up my smartphone to contact Lance when I felt a strange gaze coming from the side. I looked up and saw Zoe squinting her eyes at me. Oh my, she's not even embarrassed anymore. She must have gotten close. Oh, they must have gotten closer. <laughs> I smell something. I had no idea what both of them were talking about. I sighed and texted Lance. Ooh! I get to read all of these! I need to read them all. Uh, where is it? Sorry, I can't meet you at 10. Talk to you later. I'll go to the academy first. See you later. Barely got here on time. I can't trust Yuri's limo anymore. Don't get it. Don't get out it next time. Why don't you take the bus with me early in the morning? Ah, I scrolled too far. Thanks for asking, but no. <laughs> It's very late and your lights are still on. Isn't it better to go to bed early? Oh my god, you stalker! Alright, I'll sleep now. You didn't know that I was watching you? So slow as usual. I'm not slow! <laughs> Alright, good night. Girls who sleep in tend to be slow. <laughs> Just kidding, I'll be going first. Make sure you aren't late today, miss. Just focus on your discipline guide duties. <laughs> How cute. Let's go to Banjul after school and study for the finals. Let's study for the finals at Banjul after school. After I sent the text a few seconds later, I got a reply. Wow, as fast as lightning! I knew there was something between them! Alright, sounds good. I read the text and it said, okay, sounds good. Lance will be there. Good! Alright, now let's ask the chick. The chick left earlier. Huh? He has club activities. But the festival is over! He was so good at fortune-telling, he's on a business trip right now. What? You know, must have really made it. Oh well, then it will be the four of us. If you break your promise this time, I'll make you pay twice as more, Lance! <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with Lance? He's good at studying, and... You get got better grades than me on the midterm. I'll beat you this time. That won't be so easy. Lance will probably tutor her in private. What? what Pri private tutor? Ugh! So he started to go mad at something I never even heard about. Ugh. Even when I'm in between the two, I had no clue what they were talking about. Thankfully, I got another text from Lance. You're not spacing out again, are you? Teasing me again for being slow again. I don't know what about me was so slow. The study group consisted of me, Zoe, Shinbi, and Lance. Zoe's dream of studying with Lance came true. You guys are all working hard. How is it? Any good? Tay said while bringing us the cake we ordered. It was Tay's working day, so we met him at the cafe, too. It feels weird having Tay give me breakfast in the morning and cake after school. This is like... being with my mom all day. <laughs> oh no, Tay, that's probably the last thing you ever want to hear. I brutally ignored my half-self textbook and told Tay, Not at all. I feel trapped in an endless maze. <laughs> you must be stuck. Tay! Yes, Zoe. Can you just sit there for like five minutes? I feel like I'll ace it if I cha charge my cute boy energy. <laughs> I wish I could help a friend get better grades, but I'm only a lowly part-time worker getting paid by the hour. Sorry. Alright. He's so lying. Tay was never treated lowly since Mr. Hoppin really seemed to like him. Zeon came by earlier and told us Mr. Hoppin might make Tay second manager instead of him. The cafe has gotten famous for having cute waiters. If you search hot boy cafes on the internet, you'll find heaps of blog posts on Banjul. Thanks to that, the cafe bloomed and Mr. Hoppin and Zeon were busy all the time. I feel like Tay and I are becoming more distant. Wouldn't it be more comfortable to just think you guys were distant in the first place? <sighs> I finished my coffee. I'll go. I'll get some more. Oh, no, it's fine. I'll go. I just finished mine anyways. Wait here. Lance took my cup and headed to the counter. But Lance left his own cup. I was confused and looked into his cup and found his coffee still full. He didn't have to lie about it. I unconsciously put my hand on my cheek. It's probably a bit red. Now I notice every single thing Lance does. 
Hmm. Ugh, so he's giving me your creepy smile again. What? 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 I can't even look at my friend? I mean, it's been a long time since I've looked at you like this since someone's always by your side. I might even have to ask for permission soon. What are you trying to say? Since when did it start? I knew you guys were close, but he was so famous for being the cold prince and you were sort of clueless in that area. You both aren't the type to suddenly hit it off in flames. When did it start? Tell me, you sneaky girl. It's not what you guys think yet. We're, we're just closer friends, that's all. Hey, you can't fool a ghost, but... Hey, you can fool a ghost, but not me. Do close friends catch eyes during class and suddenly turn bright red? You guys don't even sit next to each other, but my god, the number of times you guys look at each other. Of course it must be all due to someone helping in the back. Yep, yep. <laughs> I saw him once in the cafeteria and he was holding a pudding. I asked him about it because I thought he didn't like sweet things. And then he said, I do not like to eat it, but I like watching her eat it. And at this double attack, my face throbbed with heat. It's just so... Lovey-dovey. No, it's not! You know that double negatives make a positive! Anyways, I'm kind of lonely without Yunho here. Okay. So he stopped talking about Lance and suddenly cried out for Yunho. Come to think of it, I haven't talked much to the other dolls these days. Yunho and Red were so busy even after festival that... Even after the festival that I rarely saw them. They were now officially in the club, and they always hung around with their club members. Yunho always brings tarot cards and mumbles every night, and Red is excited about creating a really fantastic play for the future. I'm glad he seemed to fit well with the club president. I honestly thought it'd be best to change the writer, but I didn't mention it. I was actually kind of upset that I didn't get to talk to the dolls much at home. Hey, here. Lance handed me my refilled coffee. Oh, thanks. Hey, Lance! <laughs> Don't you want to know what we were talking about? Zoe talked funny. Her face was weird too, but I should just let it go. Were you talking about something important? Yep, yep, something very important. Oh. You want to know? Don't you? Okay, then in return, that chocolate cake over there. No, I don't want to know. Huh? If it's something I should know, she will tell me first. Lance glanced at me. Ugh, I lost. Zoe speared a piece of cake with her fork. She then munched on it, swallowed, looked at me, and said, Be happy, my friend. Happy. Why are they looking at me like that? I'm not even- I'm not getting married! You haven't done much, Lance said after looking at her textbooks. Ugh, the girls at the- The girls and the exam both worry me. After parting with Zoe and Shinbi, Lance and I walked back home. No one was in the house when we came in. The house was so noisy just a couple days ago, I couldn't get used to the silence. What's wrong? Huh? Oh, just... Nah, it's nothing. I just thought the house was too quiet. Everyone's so busy now, so they come home late and go to bed right away since they're tired. I feel like I haven't talked to them in a while. Um, I'm just a bit upset. Upset? Lance approached me step by step. Wait, what is this? What? Wait! I was slowly backing away, and now my back hit the wall. I can't run any further. He's not... not... He was so close I could feel him breathe. Then he calmly spoke. Shall we review what we learned in math class today? You'll be able to focus then. Huh? And before, I thought you we were going to the cafe by ourselves, but your friends were there. Huh? I, I never told you we'd be alone. You should have told me for sure. I felt cheated. But it's fine, since we're alone in the house now. So, shall we review? You didn't focus at the cafe, right? Lance looked at me with strict eyes. I- I thought we were done studying. He grinned at what I said. He was smiling, but I had goosebumps for some reason. It was... scary, like the smile Zoe makes when she sees Tay. I saw you be lazy today. I'll show you what happens when you don't focus while studying. <sighs> After a special private tutor session, I laid flat on my bed. Lance is the devil. He told me he would teach me, so I had no idea he would suddenly change like that. Ugh. The thought made me feel embarrassed again. Thanks to that, I definitely memorized the theorems. I mumbled with my face still burning red. I have a feeling that every time she wasn't paying attention or she got an answer wrong, he kissed her. Because <laughs> that's super fucking cute. And then she'd get all embarrassed, and in order to avoid getting embarrassed, she would actually do better. <laughs> That's so cute. 
Whatever. I don't know. I'm going to write in my diary before I fall asleep. I got up and was about to open my diary when I heard a knock. Yeah, come in. Are you going to bed? The door opened and Lance entered. You- You- What are you doing here? I looked at Lance while still trembling in fear from his private tutor session. I finished way more than what I planned to do today. I made a cup of tea for you. Huh? Lance handed me the mug he had in his hand. <gasps> it's the dandelion animals! It's got all of them in there! Oh, look at it! I want it! If that's a real mug, I fucking want it! It's so cute! Oh my god! It's amazing! I love this! Look at it! I'm working on his route right now, and I'm working on his route, and then... Geon's the last one that I have to do, and then I can do the wizard route, and then I finish the game! Aww. The cup was steaming, and I smelled a familiar scent. This is... Lemon tea. I saw them selling the lemon tea syrup at the cafe, so I bought a bottle. Oh, you did? Thanks. I gladly took the cup. I felt my heart melt at the unexpected kindness. Huh? Lance is quiet. I looked up at Lance after sipping the lemon tea, but he was staring at something. What is he looking at? I shook. I followed his gaze and saw the dolls standing. Can I see them for a second? Of course. Lance went over to the dolls. I wondered what he would think while looking at them. What are you thinking? I was thinking about my maker. And... And... It's nothing. He didn't say. He seemed to hesitate to say something. Oh, right. He turned his head towards me again and said, So you don't buy doll clothes or shoes anymore? Huh? Oh. I wasn't able to care for them as much because I was busy with you guys. I was thinking of going to the Crobodile showroom next week anyways. I went online yesterday and saw that they released new shoes. I want to buy a new pair for Lance. Oh, I mean, the doll Lance. I see. I actually don't feel so bad. <laughs> it's so weird you saying that. It was a strange thing to see the doll's actual body over there and Lance alive and well standing in front of me. Hey, Lance. Yes? If I tell Zoe and Shinbi I like ball joint dolls. They won't like it, right? It was something I always worried about by myself, and I was telling Lance about it. I don't know. You're friends. You're talking about that hyper-class president and the tall model, right? Lance thought for a moment. I don't think they'll mind. R really My heart began to beat fast at Lance's response. They're not your friends if they don't like you for that. According to what I see, they both really like you, so I don't think they'll really care. Uh, that's... That's how you feel? How? Because I'm always watching what's around you. Watching around me? L like Definitely a stalker. But I felt oddly comforted by what Lance said. Should I really tell them? I started to wonder. I know you had a tough time not being able to tell your friends. You always used to come home, sit in front of the dolls, and tell us everything. Oh, come to think of it, I did. Every time I felt troubled by something, I told my honest feelings to the dolls. My secret hobby I couldn't tell anyone about would have been most of those troubles. Would have been one of those troubles. It's okay to tell them. No, I think it'd actually be better for you to tell them fast. Even if they don't like you after you've told them. I'm here. I'll be by your side. Lance. I was thankful for what he said. Of course, I hope that never happens, though. Thanks. Thanks, Lance. I feel much better now. But your face is red. Do you have a fever? <laughs> no, it's nothing. Stay still. Lance lowered himself and raised my bangs with his hand. Ah! Shall we continue where we left off during the private tutor session earlier? Hmm? D don't talk like that, Yuri! Oh, wait. Don't talk like Yuri. That's what she said. Never mind. Yuri. Hmm. You don't seem to have a fever. It's strange, but why are you so red? Strange. If he leans in any closer to me, I'm seriously going to get sick from all the heat. I'll I'll be fine after I sleep. I ended up saying something weird. So if I really continue on like this, I'll go mad. Alright. If you say so, then fine. 
I relaxed as soon as Lance nodded and said alright. But then... Uh, Lance suddenly leaned very close to me. He He's not... I closed my eyes tight, afraid his face might come closer. Go to bed early, since you studied hard today. I no longer felt Lance's warmth. When I opened my eyes, all I could see was his back. He was leaving the room. I felt a bit empty. I think he played me again. What? Yeah, I actually like to collect ball joint dolls. Guys? You... Huh? What? What is this music? This has never been introduced at all. Freak. What? Shinbi, she's a freak. She collects those things? But wait, where are you guys going? I can't believe you had such a hobby. You're not even a child. Uh, a child? Guys, I'm not a freak. N no, wait for me. Wait! <sighs> Master? Master, wake up! Wait for me. If you don't wake up right now, I'm going to tutor you this evening. I woke up at suddenly hearing Lance's voice. L Lance! What are you doing in my room? Some mail came for you this morning. I thought I'd bring it to you and wake you up, and Lance came along. Mail? Looking all innocent going into a grown woman's room. Ugh. Here, your mail. It says it's from Crobodol. Oh, isn't it the place that made us? From Crobodol? I took what Yunho handed me. To nameless main character. Cherry Saint Jellets 1004? From Crobodol. Okay. What's gotten into Crobodol? Is there a new product or something? You know, didn't you put the kettle on to make tea? Oh, right. Master, hurry up and come out, alright? I haven't been with you for a long time, so I want to talk to you after breakfast while drinking tea. Oh, sure. I woke up completely after Yunho's cute suggestion. After Yunho left, I realized how hideous I looked right now. I just woke up so my hair must be frizzy and my face must be swollen. Ugh, I'm embarrassed to see them like this. Are you awake? Yeah, thanks to you. Is this a catalog of the new releases? I said while opening the envelope. Crobodol always announces its new lineup this time of the year. Yeah, it is. A new version of Lance. Ooh, look at that. As I expected, in the envelope was a brochure containing pictures of all the new dolls. I was skimming through it when I saw something surprising. Oh my god, there's going to be a vampire Lance? It was funny looking at this while Lance stood in front of me, but I felt like he had to see. Lance, look at this! It's even limited edition! The skin is all white! As I talked with sparkling eyes, Lance looked at me with an excrutable expression. What? You want to buy it? Huh? Oh, nah, I don't have the money. I said while thinking of my empty wallet. I'm just glad you're released in so many different versions. It means you're that popular. I've always been popular. It's nothing new. Wow, are you showing off right now? I just told the truth. Mmm. What? What? Anyways, why don't you just leave that and get ready soon? Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to drink tea with Yunho. I'm drinking too. I'm going to stick by your side, so don't shoo me away. <laughs> Alright, do whatever you want. After looking hard at the catalog once and then me, Lance turned around and left the room. He didn't show it, but he must be bothered by it. Anyways, a new type of Lance. As I said, I'm happy that this type is popular. Besides, the new version has a cool concept and was very pretty. But I have Lance. I leave the catalog on the desk and head towards the bathroom. Ta-da! So he gave me a Christmas event brochure for an amusement park. They're already selling tickets for Christmas. They say they're going to put on a huge show at this amusement park. How about it? Doesn't it sound cool? Uh, I'm already looking forward to it. So he held on to the brochure and dipped back into her fantasy world. It's going to be exciting, but don't forget we have beep before that. Don't know what that means, but okay. What? Shinbi, what's that beep? Zoe's taboo word, so I just said beep. Taboo? 
Let's see, if Silly deemed it taboo. Oh, you mean the finals. Ah, I barely stopped Shimmy from saying it, and now you, those eight, you too, it's taboo! Alright, alright, don't get so worked up. Hey, this. Shouldn't be ignored, Silly, and handed me something. What is this? It was tickets to the amusement park, but there were two. The magazine gave them to me. They were sponsored by it, so they gave me two. Zoe's single anyways, so I think it's better to give them to you. Shinbi, so unfair, but I don't want to go to an amusement park by myself. Huh? Can I really take these? Huh, <laughs> take it. Shinbi's being nice. You found your love at last, so go make pretty memories. That's what I want for you. Oh, wow. Th thanks. So he did exaggerate, but I was still moved. <laughs> you don't even hang out with us anymore. It's so true. People change when they fall in love. I trusted you! I didn't change. To be honest, I did hang out less with Zoe and Shinbi these days. I did constantly check my phone even when we're talking, so Zoe isn't wrong. I felt a bit sorry. Whatever, I don't need it. All I need is Shinbi for the rest of my life. Shinbi, let's never change. We can work together to build a kingdom for singles. Hmm, I'll think about it. Zoe wailed, asking Shinbi if she's going to leave her too. But Shinbi just ignored Zoe as usual and turned back to reading her magazine. I heard camera shutters go off on the corner, all aimed at Shinbi. But we were all so used to it, so no one cared. I'd missed it all, I drowned in my fallen thoughts. These friends really care for me. I felt thankful knowing they wanted me to be happy. Now I really had to choose. I had to decide on something I had been thinking about for a long time. Hey, look. Yeah? Do you both have time today? I told you to go to the amusement park with that prince over there! No, I just... Um... I clenched my fists. I've decided. There's a place I want to take you both. Do you guys have time? After school, I took Zoe and Shinbi downtown. It's faster by bus, but I wanted to talk to them while walking. The place you want to take us? I just hope it's not disappointing. I'm curious, too. But how much longer do we have to walk? Hmm. We're almost there. But guys... Yeah? Whatever I show you, whatever I say, you'll be on my side, right? That's... Zoe suddenly stopped and stared into my face. I felt like breaking out in a cold sweat at the way Zoe seriously peered into my face. Does she know what I'm about to show her? My heart started to beat fast. I was stiff with nervousness, but Zoe just kept staring at me. Shinbi finally tapped Zoe on the shoulder. Calm down, Zoe. She's not going to ask you out. Oh, right? <laughs> You're already going out with Ice Prince anyways. What? Hey, did you just... You and I are best friends, so don't ever think something like that. I never did. It was you who... I really want to know where you're taking us. We were about to start a cat fight when Shinbi interrupted. At her words, I felt nervous again. My clenched fists started to sweat. I hope they can accept me. So it's cool if it, it's probably cool if it's fine when it comes- Like, it's probably cool if she has dolls, but it's not cool if there's crushes. Like... On girls? Is that the problem here? <laughs> no homosexual relationships allowed? Is that what's going on here? Like, I understand because it's an Otome game, and like, you know, the Otome game is usually based towards a female character going after male characters, but what's wrong with having uh, he homosexual relationships? I don't- Or even like, bisexual, pansexual, whatever you want to call it, just- What's wrong with that? I prayed inside and looked at the building in front of me. I see the sign that says Crobodol. Let's go in. Okay, uh, what? Is it the second floor? Welcome to Crobodol! Crobodol? Huh. Wow, they- hey, look over there! These are ball joint dolls. Zoe looked surprised and went towards the display. Both Zoe and Shinbi looked interested in the dolls and looked around the showroom. And seeing them look fascinated by the dolls, I relaxed a little bit. They're not showing negative responses. So, so cute! They are all hot boys! Their eyes look so real. Shinbi stood in front of a doll and stared into its eyes. It was really like staring into someone's eyes. It was strange to see someone who looks like a doll stare into a doll. Something. I feel something. Shinbi closed her eyes. Then she opened them and stared back into the doll's eyes. They shined like glass reflected by the light, but if you look closely, they really look like genuine human eyes. Shinbi stared into the doll's eyes for quite a while. 
The doll's not going to move just because you stare at it. Seeing Shinbi carefully study the doll without even blinking, so we told her. Shinbi, you remind me of Mr. Yuri right now. Why are you looking at the doll like that? It's creepy. This doll is a bit weird. Shinbi muttered with a strange expression. I was surprised at what she said. She looked into its eyes for a long time. Did she sense something? Sh Shinbi, what's wrong? Miss, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. The doll felt a bit particular. Felt a bit peculiar. The doll? Yeah, it's hard when I touch it, but I feel like its inside is filled with something soft. Something warm. Shinbi, maybe you're tired. Maybe. Hmm, anyways, the dolls are so pretty. Thank you, but more than that, you must be quite sensitive to have felt something in the dolls. Sensitive? Yes, some sensitive people see the dolls and say they feel something. I've never heard that. Shinbi must have been interested the way she nodded while carefully listening to what the manager said. I feel like they are alive. No, it's more... Uh, I don't know. People who tell me they felt something... They felt something told us similar things. They can't explain in detail, but they feel something. So we merely guess. Maybe they have seen the hearts of these kids here. We try to give the dolls their own personalities when we release them. So maybe those personalities have become their hearts. Shinbi quietly looked around the showroom. Meanwhile, Zoe was roaming around exclaiming, pretty, pretty. Wow, look at these props! They're so tiny and cute! Thankfully, they both seemed to like it so far. I took a deep breath. But why did you bring us here? Huh? Oh. Are you interested in these things? I realized after they both asked that I haven't told them the most important part. The reason why I brought them here. If you've seen everything, do you want to go to Banjul and get something to drink? I'll explain there. Okay, alright. Excuse me, how much are these dolls? Zoe asked enthusiastically. Zoe will be so surprised when she hears the answer. I took a deep breath. I just felt thankful that the Crobodile showroom was decorated really well. If they saw their showroom and felt disappointed, I wouldn't have been able to tell them anything. Here are your drinks. Thanks, Zeon. Where's Tay? Oh, Tay went out for a while. He took to look at... Bleh, to look at tea leaves. Again? He's out a lot. So I looked disappointed. Zeon went back and Shinbi looked at me. She was silently telling me it was time to start my story. Where we went today, how was it? I hesitated a bit and asked. It was fun! It would be the perfect place to rest my eyes if there were no if there are no cute boys around. It was cool, but it's not a place normal people usually go to. Shinbi looked at me while talking. It was as if she already knew. Guys, I rubbed my sweaty hands on my pants and started. Let's tell them now. Lance told me it would be okay. Let's be brave. I... I have five ball joint dolls at home. What? So he looked at me surprised. I, I know it might sound weird, but I sort of... No, I really like those dolls. I like them so much I can't imagine my life without them. They are that precious to me. The reason I didn't tell you guys was because you guys might think it's weird. I was scared you'd just take me as a little girl playing with dolls. That was why I couldn't tell you both. You- So his voice got loud. I gulped. Whatever she had to say, if it was as a friend, I was ready to hear it. Are you secretly rich? Pretending to be middle class! Girl, you totally got me! Huh? Oh, uh... Rich? You just said you have five! I asked the price earlier and it was enormously expensive! Now we know why she always ate bread at the cafeteria. Oh, right, you did! So you ate bread every day to save money? Huh? Uh, yeah. But still, it's important to eat healthy. Uh, well, when I look at pretty dolls, I feel a lot full anyway. No, I mean... I felt something was weird even as I was talking. No, it wasn't weird. And that was what's weird. They were the same as usual. They are both okay with it? Should we get some cake? It's- I'm kind of hungry. Uh, you guys, is that all you have to say? Huh? Why? I mean, usually people say that's stupid, you're too old for that, or, you know, ask me if I had a traumatic childhood. I thought you guys would say stuff like that. Hey, hey, whatever, I have enough problems of my own, why would I nag you? If you like it, you like it. You're still you. Yeah, it's not like you suddenly started liking them, you said you always liked them. And besides, just because you like bald joint dolls, it doesn't mean you'll start craving for my beautiful bones like Mr. Yujin does. You just like dolls a lot. 
It's not that different from me liking hot boys, is it? Uh, I... I guess, yeah? Yeah. Um, I lowered my gaze. Yeah. I breathed out and laid back on the sofa. My nerves melted away. Boy, why are you sounding like a flat tire? I raised my head and looked at my two friends, and smiled at them with all my heart. Thanks, guys, for listening to me. You're a friend. That's what we do. I think I really need more of that cake. Yeah, go ahead. I'm buying today. Really? So he beamed. I beamed back. I felt so happy I could fly. Hmm, I am kind of curious. What does it feel like to have a doll? It's like... having a family. I sipped the lemon tea I ordered and smiled. <sighs> I laid down my bag. It was already getting pretty late. I was tired from being so nervous earlier, but I felt lighter than a feather. It was the first time I told someone I liked to collect dolls. I thought they'd think I'm weird, so I didn't expect anything. That's why I always told myself that it would be fine as long as I don't tell. But... At some point, I started to want to tell others. I wanted to be accepted. I at least wanted the people I love to accept my hobby. I wanted to be honest and show the people I like everything about me. And I wanted to proudly tell them about what I like. I was scared they'd naturally hate it, but... I'm glad they understand. I felt thankful to Zoe and Shinbi again. I was still in the middle of my thoughts when I heard a knock it, and the door opened. It was Lance as usual. You're in my room often. Is that a problem? Lance approached me. Why? Why didn't you text me back? Huh? Oh, right. I was so nervous all day I hadn't checked my phone. Sorry, I was busy. I went somewhere today. I was going to ask anyways. Where were you until this late? You weren't with another boy, were you? Like going to see Red's play rehearsal or something. He seemed to be prepared for another silly play. Oh no, I was with Zoe and Shinbi and... Lance marched closer to me. Where were you, owner? Not even checking your texts or taking my calls. Huh? I, I went to the Crobodol showroom. The showroom? Yeah, I wanted to tell Zoe and Shinbi everything today. I see. Did you tell them? Yeah. How was it? Lance carefully asked. It was just as you said. They were really understanding of it. They didn't even say it was weird, so I was really happy. I feel good now. I smiled towards Lance. You really helped me by telling me it would be okay. Thanks. Hmm. I was feeling all mushy expressing my gratitude, but Lance didn't look so pleased. He was actually pouting a bit. It's good that you've told them your secret. I see. Lance thinks about something. What? You said he went to the showroom, so you must have seen all the other dolls. Lance's eyes swept across my desk, and his gaze stopped at the Crabadol new release catalog. I forgot I'd even left it there. He's scary. Lance laid his hands on the catalog. You even left this at your desk. This won't do. If you're interested in another doll than me, I have to check right now. Huh? But first I have something to say. First of all, since you ignored my calls and enjoyed your little date with your friends in return... Well, wait! What date? Lance ignored me and continued. You have to go on a date with me. And one more. My face was already red when he mentioned the word date. I almost felt dizzy at all the heat suddenly rushing into my face. I felt like I knew what he was going to say. Lance took my hands, and he clasped his hands onto mine. All our fingers were intertwined together. Thump thump. Thump thump. I felt our hearts beating through our red, tightly clasped hands, and I heard his voice. Airy, I like you. At the sudden confession, I looked at Lance, surprised. His blue eyes burned like flames. I like you, Airy. Uh, um... I felt embarrassed and awkward and kept looking around, unable to lock my eyes anywhere. I could feel my face getting hotter and my heartbeat beating louder. Why are the lights off? And next, now. Ah, well, wait, let me go! He suddenly grabbed my waist and held me up. I screamed in surprise as my vision turned upside down. What? what are you doing? Lance held me up and laid me in bed. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll tell you after I'm finished with the naughty things, owner. Holy shit!
Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh god, those eyes. The music. The eyes. Oh my god. I did not think this was gonna happen. I did, like, I kind of, like, I thought, oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. What do I do? What do I do? I didn't think this was gonna happen. Oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh god, I've been reduced to what I'm like in real life when it comes to this stuff. What do I do? Oh my god, what do I do? <laughs> oh shit, what do I do? Marking. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What is going on? I know what's going on. I, this is a rhetorical question, but like, what the- Oh no! <coughs> oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. He's gonna- he's, Oh no. Oh my god. How far are they gonna go with this scene? Oh my god. Don't be like Honey Pop. Don't be like Honey Pop. Don't be like Honey Pop. But marking You mean k kiss? Oh my god. He knows exactly what he's doing. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I don't think I'm... <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. It's something different. So... So what is that? Oh my god, this is just getting really bad. This, this isn't even an insinuation anymore. This is like full on, I'm gonna... <laughs> this is like full on, I'm gonna have sex with you. Oh my god. <sighs> Holy shit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what do I do? Like, this is a good thing, but like, oh my god. I did not expect this from Lance of all people! I expected this from Yuri, not Lance. <clears throat> Mark that labels you mine. You'll see what it is. If it's difficult. Oh, oh my god! Holy shit! Oh no, I don't think I can say this! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! Okay, this is a thing! This is, <laughs> this is happening! Oh my god, okay. Okay! She's gonna have sex with one of her dolls. That has come to life. Holy shit. Chariots, what the fuck? I don't even think you referenced this shit before. Like, I don't know, I haven't played all of Dandelion just yet, but like, if you're- But like, I haven't seen this referenced so strongly in a Chariots game before. Holy shit. <clears throat> if it's difficult, just call my name. Say Lance. Lance. I want to hear you shout my name all night, Airy. Shit! Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! I did not expect this at all. What the fuck? I don't. Well, wait. Mm. And our lips locked together. You finally retrieved a piece. Congratulations. The name of the piece is the ability to love yourself. Did the doll named Lance not love himself? I think so. Hmm. I don't understand. I love myself too much. Of course, your excessive love for yourself has made you greedy. <laughs> but are you okay? I thought you fed off of memories. That's no longer fun. There's two people talking. Well, it's none of my business. 
Anyways, I finally have one. Alright, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> what? There's two. Is the wizard working together with someone else? Because they mentioned memories. And that he f the other character feeds off of memories. And the wizard took away memories in Dandelion. Is this connected? Okay. Seriously, there's another fucking chapter. <sighs> I, you have to, it, let me see here. Where is Lent? Yeah, because Christmas with Yunho was the last one. So, until you get the Christmas chapter, you're not hitting the last one. Oh my god, I can't believe they called this one True Friends. True fucking friends. I bet, I, I, I know they probably called it because the Aerie opened up about the dolls to her friends, but like, are we sure they're not insinuating something else with that title? Like, are we really fucking sure about that? Are we really sure about that? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just so stunned right now. Oh my god. I just... Oh my god. I need a moment to collect myself, so I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna see you guys later, okay? <laughs> like, holy shit. I did not expect that from Lance. Okay. Okay, little Micah's poor little innocent heart is gonna go now. Okay? Okay. Later, guys. Bye.